Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Yaritza and I'm so happy that you are here. So in today's video, we are just going to be having fun because I feel like it's been a long time since I've, I've just had fun. Along with like everything that's been going on in my life and in the world, COVID and everything, it's just, I don't feel like I've, you know, we haven't gone on a lot of adventures, we haven't gone out, we haven't traveled, we haven't done a lot of things. And I was feeling this week like, I was like, I just want to have fun. And fun in a way, like a simple way. I don't want to plan something some elaborate trip or adventure or whatever it's like what do I want to do just to have fun and for whatever reason in my head popped in kites so I was like why not I want to go fly kites so I went and got some kites and these are it so they're basically oh you can't see the picture I got two shark kites from Target. They were $8 each. This is literally the only design they had. So I got two sharks, one for me, one for my husband. And we went this week to fly kites. And our first trip, we went to Santa Monica Beach and failed miserably. And I was just roll the clips. So we went to Santa Monica Beach last Tuesday and it's just beautiful to be in the, near the ocean, to feel the sand on your feet and then the water that was really cold but really refreshing. I haven't been to the beach in I feel like over a year. So we put our kites together and then my husband was the first one to get up and go fly his kite and this is how he did. In his attempt to fly a kite, he didn't get it really high or far. I will say that there wasn't a lot of wind at Santa Monica, so I was like, all right, when it was my turn to try to fly the kite, I actually was like, let me run to see if this, like, give it some momentum and see if it helps. And I ran as far as I could. Running on sand is not the easiest thing, especially when you're out of shape. So that was a feat. The kite didn't go really far. And um, I was running back and then I got tired because, like I said, it's hard to run on sand. And it just, the, the kite wasn't picking up wind. What happened to it? It crashed. There's not enough wind. And I got tired of running. <laughs> but it went pretty high. Yeah. I really thought I was going to get it to fly in Santa Monica and then I just got tired of running. <laughs> so if you know me, you know that I do not give up on a goal. So we decided on Thursday to go to the Korean Friendship Bell, which is located in San Pedro, another great location. It's actually where I wanted to go um, in the first place, but since we were lazy on Tuesday and it was late, we ended up in Santa Monica, but definitely the Korean Friendship Bell in San Pedro is the place to go. We arrived and took in the view, which is beautiful and amazing. You can still hear the ocean waves and breathe in fresh air. This area is definitely a lot more windy because we're at a higher altitude. And so again, we assembled our flights and started fighting with the wind to, to get the kite up in the air. Every time we thought we finally had it up in the air, it would like swirl and just crash down. I was like, my shark does not want to fly. So this is Drew thinking that he finally is going to get it to fly but basically this is how high he could get it i thought this was so cute here i go struggling and crashing again and again and again but i won't give up I even saw another person uh, flying a kite like like further down and I was like, let's go ask for some tips and tricks on how to get our flights up in the air. Drew gave up on his um, kite. He said his kite was defective and I did not give up on mine. Actually, I did try to fly his and it, it did not fly at all. So I kept trying with mine and finally we got it up in the air. It was a moment of truth and success. If you guys know me, I do not give up. And if there's something, I haven't flown a kite since I was a kid. 
So I knew, I forgot that actually it does take some finesse. There are some things that do help you fly kite and keep it up in the air. But at last, I was finally able to get it up in the air and get it as high as 200 feet. Um, because our kites are, the strings to our kite is 190, a little over 196 feet. And I used my entire string. So I got mine really high and it was really fun. It was actually very meditative just to have your kite up there just flying and you're just controlling it and then you hear just the wind and the sound of the, the waves and it was actually very meditative for me and I feel like I want to just do this again. Also we found this poor kite tangled up in the power line so make sure if you have a kite that it's secured to your string and to take care of it so it doesn't end up in the power lines because that can be really dangerous. So my number one tip to fly your kite is definitely location. Find a place that is going to be windy and then it's going to be high in altitude. Do not go to the beach um, to fly your kite unless you are just on like on the top of a cliff or something like that and I will link below some places if you're in LA where you can go and fly your kite and don't give up if you f if at first you fail do not give up keep trying to get that kite up in the air because once it's up there it's hard to bring it down oh and I forgot the Korean Friendship Bell parking lot is closed so we had to sneak in um, you can just park on the other side I think or we parked on the street and just went through the gate and there were other people there so it's definitely open but I think they're just trying to control how many people go there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the perfect activity for spring. We are in March. Um, by the time you see this video it's going to be the first day of March so I hope you guys are preparing for spring and that have activities that are outdoors that are fun and that do not cost you a lot of money and that will allow you to be socially distanced from other people because COVID is still not over so we are trying our best to stay safe and have fun at the same time. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave in your comments if you have flown a kite recently or if you want to. I haven't done it since I was a kid um, but it was definitely a lot of fun so I recommend it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support me in my YouTube journey. I love you guys so much. Stay safe and I will see you in another video.